Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So you guys are probably wondering why am I watching Mawahib on a Wednesday night and Sunday night this week. So um, this week I actually decided to post twice. I just want to see how it does, um, how my channel does uh, posting twice a week. So I hope you guys don't mind watching an extra video from me. Um, so the details of today's video, I'm, I am going to be testing out the A27 Performance Soy Blend. Um, this video is going to run exactly like Sunday's video. In the middle of this video, I'm going to do a voiceover. At the end of this video, I'm going to come back, share the details of the wax, my experience working with the wax and the end result of my candle so with that being said please make sure that you click that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post so with that being said let's just get straight into it let's test the a27 performance soy blend so i know that you guys can see two jars over there but today i'm only going to stick to making uh, one jar just because i'm actually running out of candle containers i am going to be putting an order soon with a few of my favorite candle suppliers so i am going to be measuring out 200 grams of wax for my uh, 30 centiliter candle container and you guys can see the wick that i'm using over there is a tcr wick it is not a wick that's suitable for paraffin blends uh, but this is what i have on hand right now so i'm gonna use what i have i'm gonna go ahead and show you how the wax looks like up front it comes in flake form and it's actually pretty rough it's not as soft as the s16 or the s100 well maybe that's because it's um blended with paraffin so it makes sense if it's not too creamy i can't actually wait to test out the a05 wax from london luxury supplies i got told that it's on its way to my um, address and i cannot wait so over here i'm gonna go ahead and measure out the blueberry and jasmine fragrance oil the a27 wax holds 10 to 12 percent fragrance load i am going to be using 10 percent in this occasion and i use 200 grams of wax 10 percent of that would be 20 grams but i actually don't have enough to make up 20 grams so I only have 17 grams in this case but it's fine it's only like a few grams away but I just thought I'd let you guys know I didn't use up the full 20 grams just because I don't have enough in the bottle the wax has completely melted and I'm gonna wait until it cools down to 72 degrees the pouring range for a27 wax is between 52 to 72 degrees but I recommend you guys pouring at 72 degrees and I'll explain why at the end of the video so now that I've reached 72 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and pop my fragrance oil in give that a very good mix and I mix for two minutes guys i don't show myself mixing for that long just because i edit out the two minute clip so i only show myself mixing for 10 seconds but i do mix for um two minutes long so make sure that you guys mix long enough when you're working with the wax and here's how the wax looks like up close that's at 72 degrees as soon as i started pouring into my candle container it literally started to cool down like how crazy is that the s16 s100 eco soy um golden 464 it didn't do that at all compared to the paraffin soy blend it blows my mind how different waxes have different results like comparing the paraffin soy blend to 100% natural wax it's just crazy uh, to know that different waxes behave in different ways it actually is just so interesting so I'm just gonna secure my wicks with chopsticks because I don't have wick clippers and then I'm gonna pop this um, like little clip on top just to make sure that the wick is completely in the center Earlier when I was pouring my wax into the candle container, a bit of the wax cooled down already in the pouring pitcher. So what I did is I popped it back into the double boiler, melted a bit of the wax through and then poured it straight into my candle jar just so I don't waste any wax. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the results in the next clip coming up right now. All right, guys, I am back. By the way, I'm sorry that I'm wearing the same top as I'm wearing on Sunday. I literally am filming two videos in one day and in one sitting. So I hope you guys don't mind wearing the same like top for like two videos. But let's get into the details of the A27 Performance Soy Blend. So um, the melt point of it is 53 degrees. The congealing point is 45 degrees. The suggested heating range is between 80 to 92 degrees. Suggested pouring range is between 52 to 72 degrees. The suggested max fragrance load is between 10 to 12%. And uh, the wax contains paraffin, so it's not natural. And the characteristic of this wax, the only wax of its kind in the market, a harder wax with intended shrinkage properties designed for melt and molds, powerful hot sun throw, plus a high tolerance to more potent oils, 
perfect wax for hot or candle adverse conditions. It's ideal for melts, pillars and tarts, suitable for container candles in warmer climates and it works well with color. All right, so now that you guys know the details of the candle wax, I also want to say for any of the information about the candle wax that I'm giving out in the S16, S100, and now the A27, you can find them all on the website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below so you guys don't panic if you forgot a certain part of information you can still find it on the website so it will be right there on hand for you guys so let me just get into the experience of me actually with the wax so i've never done a paraffin blend before that's my first time using paraffin wax uh, ever since i started candle making i have been using um vegetable wax or 100 percent natural wax Paraffin wax candles are um, was a bit tricky for me to work with. Again, it's my first time and I was so nervous filming this video just in case things just go wrong. So thank God I actually did the test run before I um, filmed because things did really go wrong before um, I started filming. So you guys know I love making a blend of essential oil candles and I also love making fragrance oil candles. I just find so much joy out of making two different candles. So I tried to make a fragrance oil candle and I waited, so it says here, that the suggested the pouring range for a27 is between 52 to 72 degrees oh guys i waited until 52 degrees and bear in mind i was using fragrance oil um with the uh, wax and i waited until 52 degrees because i love pouring at lower temperature with vegetable wax but in comparison to paraffin blended wax with soy um i poured at 52 degrees but by the time i wanted to pour the the wax has already hardened up inside the pitcher and i'm like oh no oh no so anyway i put it back onto the, into the double boiler got my wax back up to uh, 72 degrees and then poured it into a separate jar guys it was a nightmare i was panicking i was like oh my god i cannot believe that it just completely hardened up inside my um pouring pitcher at 52 degrees and like i went to mix it and i'm like it's all hardened up oh my god like i can barely move my uh, mixing thing i ended up again i uh, melted down the wax on the double boiler again and then poured it into a separate um a candle container so then when i started filming the candle clip that you guys saw earlier then i knew what i needed to do if you guys are using the a27 do not pour at 52 degrees because the candle and um, the wax will be completely cooled down do not pour at 52 degrees guys pour at 72 degrees even 75 degrees if you can go ahead and do that because it literally it starts um cooling as soon as you put it in a container it starts cooling it's just crazy i've never dealt with a wax like that before so that's something to be uh, mindful of just pour at a higher temperature with uh, the soy blend uh, a27 so pour at 72 75 degrees is perfect the reason why i didn't heat up the jar is because i wanted to see glass adhesion it did pull away but now it doesn't seem like it's pulled away i'm going to show you the results um up close in a little bit and i also used the same um fragrance oil like i used in my sunday's video the blueberry jasmine yeah the blueberry jasmine and i only i only had 17 grams left of the fragrance oil so i couldn't put the full 20 grams to make up the 10 percent i'm really interested to see how strong the hot throw will be for this candle um it did say it's ideal for melts and molds so i don't know if i'm going to be using that wax again honestly it was a struggle for me not only making the candle but having to clean the pouring pitcher out guys so if you guys do uh, have or buy a 27 soy performance blend just to try it out for yourself why not just make sure that if you want to clean out your pouring pitcher make sure that you put really hot boiling water in your pouring pitcher so the melt the wax can actually get completely melted so you guys don't have trouble uh, cleaning your uh, pouring pitchers out and all the equipment that you guys do use for making candles so yeah it's a bit hard harder to clean and uh, I, found, I found it a bit harder to work with as well just because I think I've never used paraffin wax so it makes sense uh, or a paraffin blend. Okay, let me show you now the um, results of my candle. This is the top so very beautiful smooth a uh, smooth top. I don't think you can can you guys see there's like a very faint crack going through here but I don't think you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? No I don't think you guys can see it the camera's not picking up but there's like a little crack going through here by the wick and this is the um candle um from the side i don't think it pulled away i thought it did but it doesn't look like it pulled away there is like a little bit 
horizontal lines going through the uh, jar but yeah this is how it looks like but I'm pretty happy with it honestly for like my second time making a candle the first time didn't work out the second time worked out let me just give it a smell the cold throw is uh, it's a bit it's an eight it's not as strong as the s16 um s16 cold throw that i tried in my sunday's video it's about an eight i would love for it to be a little bit stronger though because i love strong cold throws i actually still have the s16 candles right here with me yeah it's not the same as the hot throw uh, the cold throw sorry it's uh, the s16 has a stronger cold throw than the a27 yeah definitely so i do want to say as well for the a27 performance soy blend it doesn't work well with essential oils uh, because normally i put my essential oils at a very low temperature and a low temperature is between 52 degrees and at 52 degrees the a27 wax this hardens up so that is the reason why i wouldn't uh, i recommend it for essential oil candles just fragrance oil candles i obviously still have more of the a27 wax left i am going to be doing further um testing for it but i'm going to be completely transparent guys i i don't think i'm gonna be buying the wax again just because it's just very hard to clean and um despite the challenging of working with the wax like you know challenges happen along the way all the time but it's just the cleaning process is the one that i just find a bit hard i don't want to stand in my kitchen like you know for like 10 minutes trying to clean my pouring pitcher so that's one of the reasons why i wouldn't repurchase the wax again however if you do want to try a paraffin uh, a soy paraffin blend that then maybe you can try the a27 uh, my experience with it again it was challenging because i've never tried paraffin wax before but uh, if you do buy the a27 wax make sure that you pour it at a hot temperature do not wait until it gets to 50 degrees not even 60 degrees keep it on between the 72 75 degree mark if you guys do uh, buy it and work with it other than that, I think that is it for today's video. If this video goes on Wednesday, I cannot wait that I'm having two videos up on my channel this week. It's super exciting and I cannot wait to see like, you know, the, uh, the um, results of how two videos will work on my channel. So I'm going to leave you guys here and say, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. And please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post. Also, one more thing, if you have any questions about the wax please make sure that you pop your questions down below i'll be more than happy to help and advise with what i've learned so far with the wax with that being said um have a lovely wednesday night i have a lovely week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys